Singh here at St. John's for Wednesday, May 24th, 2023. We're very happy to have you with us, and we're also glad that uh, Doug and Nick at the controls and Sue at the keyboard is here as well. And, and we're going to be talking this evening uh, about the Christian life as it re reflects, uh, as it's reflected in our worship, how we spend our time worshiping our God. And we begin, actually, that will be introduced with Psalm 9, verse 1, where King David says, I will thank you, Lord, all my heart. I will tell about all your wonderful deeds. And one of the most wonderful deeds of God, of course, is that he saved us through Jesus Christ and his Son. And, and though thus we can confess our sins uh, in confidence that our God not only hears us, but will forgive us. It, it's that thought that prompted in 658, with all my heart, I praise you, Lord. praise for kindness you have shown me when I confess my sin and shame peace and forgiveness seeking you grant me pardon in your name before I finished speaking in love you listen carefully to all our sighs of misery our every need addressing our guilt should make you turn away instead you turn towards us and say receive my gracious blessing Lord I rejoice to your guest at your rich table feeding there by your mercy finding rest and all my soul is needing let your good spirit work within to show that all my wretched sin has truly been forgiven. Thus well prepared, Lord, I believe that in your supper I receive life hardened Peace and 
confession is certainly a large part of our life. What, more, what is more important is how God responds to our confession and the grace he gives us through his Holy Spirit. We speak of the means of grace as being either the gospel or the three ways the gospel comes to us. And we have a hymn coming up that'll talk about each one of those three ways. First of all, we speak of the gospel coming to us in the word of God, as God actually comes and speaks to us. We're reminded of the words of 1 Samuel 3, verse 10. The Lord came and stood there and called, as he had the other times, Samuel, Samuel. And then Samuel said, speak for your servant is listening. Our God speaks to us through the Bible, and we sing a hymn based on that particular verse, hymn 633, Speak, O Lord. we come to you to receive the food of your holy word. Take your truth, plant it deep in us, shape and fashion us in your likeness, that the light of Christ might be seen today in our acts of love and our deeds of faith. Speak, O Lord, and fulfill in us all your purposes for your glory. Teach us, Lord, full obedience, holy reverence, true humility. Test our thoughts and our attitudes in the radiance of your purity. Cause our faith to rise, cause our eyes to see your majestic love and authority. Words of power that can never fail, let their truth prevail over unbelief. Speak, O Lord, and renew our minds. Help us grasp the heights of your plans for us. Truths unchanged from the dawn of time that will echo down through eternity and by grace we'll stand on your promises and by faith we'll walk as you walk with us speak O lord till your church is built and the earth is filled with your glory. God sometimes uses the proclamation of his word to bring people to faith, and certainly the Holy Spirit can do that. However, most of us uh, who have been lifelong Christians were first brought to faith by God's gift of holy baptism. As the Apostle Paul writes to Titus in verse 5 of chapter 3 of his book, letter to Titus, he saved us, not by righteous works that we did ourselves, but because of his mercy. He saved us through the washing of rebirth and the renewal by the Holy Spirit. We sing the baptismal hymn 647, Word and Water Filled with Promise. Word and water 
water filled with promise grant forgiveness cleanse reclaim in the father son and spirit holy precious saving name blessings purchased when our savior paid the awful ransom price all delivered in this washing peace and pardon paradise as the water rescued Noah ark uplifted on the waves so this water by God's promise also rescues also saves now by Jesus resurrection we before our God appear pure and sinless fully righteous with a conscience crystal clear though our vision may not capture all that happens at the font here the savior keeps his promise those he shepherds shall not want every trace of sin forgiven guilt completely washed away faith in Jesus firmly planted See God's kingdom come today. Let us always, Lord, remember that the water and the word bear your never-failing promise salvation is assured your baptismal benediction ever shower from above all the spirit's grace in Jesus and Dear Father, all your love. The special gift of God that we celebrate a couple times a month at least here at St. John's that assures us that what Jesus did on the cross, he did personally for each and every one of us, is that sacrament of the Lord's Supper, and where we can't explain how, but with the bread and the wine, Christ's true body and blood comes to us. As we read in Mark 14, verse 22, while they were eating, Jesus took bread. When he had blessed it, he broke it and gave it to them, saying, take it, this is my body. Again, not trying to explain it, but rather trusting Jesus' words, we sing him 665, what is this bread? What is this bread? Christ
Christ's body risen from the dead. This bread we break, this life we take, was crushed to pay for our release. Oh, taste and see, the Lord is peace. What is this wine? The blood of Jesus shed for mine. The cup of grace brings his embrace of life and love until I sing. Oh, taste and see, the Lord is King. So who am I? That I should live and he should die Under the rod My God, my God Why have you not forsaken me? Oh, taste and see The Lord is free Yet is God here Oh yes, by Lord and promise clear In mouth and soul He makes us whole Christ truly present in this meal Oh, taste and see The Lord is real Is this for me? I am forgiven and set free. I do believe that I receive His very body and His blood. Oh, taste and see, the Lord is good. When we partake of the means of grace, the gospel and word and sacrament, the Holy Spirit works in us. Uh, he worked in us once to create our faith, and now he sustains our faith and grows that new portion of ourselves that agrees with God's will. In a sense, that is a reclaiming of the image of God that was lost in the fall into sin. As Paul writes in Colossians 3 verse 10, urging the Colossians, and he says, put on the new self which is continually being renewed in knowledge according to the image of its creator. We ask that we receive that renewal too with the words of him 689, Renew me, O eternal light. Renew me, O eternal light, and let my heart and soul be bright, illumined with the light of grace that issues from your holy face. Destroy in me the lust of sin, from all impureness make me clean. O oh, grant me power and strength, my God, to strive against my flesh and blood. Create in me a new heart, Lord, that gladly I obey your word. Oh, let your will be my desire, and with new life my soul inspire. Grant that, that I, I only you may love, and seek those things which are above, till I behold you face to face, O light eternal through 
your grace. Our final scripture selection for this evening would seem to be a final a a fitting final scripture selection from 2 Corinthians 13 verse 14 we read the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all as we confess our sins receive forgiveness conveyed to us through the means of grace and that renewal by the Holy Spirit we also grow in those fruits of the Spirit especially that fruit of love we close tonight with hymn 726, Love in Christ is Strong and Living. Love in Christ is strong and living, Binding faithful hearts in one. Love in Christ is true and giving. May his will in us be done. Love is patient and forbearing. Clothed in Christ humility, gentle, selfless, kind and caring, reaching out in charity. Love in Christ abides forever. Fainting not when ills attend. Love forgiving and forgiven shall endure until life's end. May God's love continue ab to abide with you as well. Thank you for joining us this evening, and we will look forward to seeing you again soon, God willing. <laughs>